What's poppin' everybody and welcome to another episode of the Measy Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please, before we begin, go ahead and hit that subscribe and that like button there. It should be in the right bottom-ish corner if you got an Android, iPhone, probably some more similar. So, now, uh, this windshield wiper keep going. It's raining like crazy in Southern California and as well as a lot of the Southwest. So, anyway... Uh, yeah, so let's talk about it. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Freak Diddy, P. Diddy, whatever you want to call him. Um, he got his house raided by the feds. This had happened a while ago. And there's so much speculation on it that it kind of makes you wonder. Like, okay, so let's just, let's go with the facts, right? When something has been said about somebody, maybe one time, maybe even two times, especially when they're famous, I take it with a grain of salt. They say all kind of stuff that I don't believe myself, right? They say that 50 cents a snitch. I don't believe that. You feel me? There's never been any credible evidence to point to that. They say that, um, you know, uh, 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 Tupac's alive. I don't believe that. I'm very certain in my mind that Tupac is not alive. They see that they say that um uh some lady said Kobe raped him, right? Scraped him. Excuse me, let me rephrase that. Uh I don't believe that. And he actually proved that he didn't, right? So anyway, point being <coughs> excuse me, point being <coughs> that I don't just take anything or any statement that someone throws out against a celebrity as law, right? Now with that being said, uh, with that being said, uh, if it's said over and over and over and over and over and so on and so forth, eventually you might say, you know what? Maybe, maybe the y'all on the sun, right? So, as you guys know, R. Kelly, he's one of the people who has been involved in a lot of accusations. Granted, he didn't maybe scrape anybody say by force or whatever but by coercion or whatever or maybe and he's making these people sign NDAs which I don't even think that the these people that signed to NDAs was could legally sign into an NDA maybe the family could but not them so anyway we know that once somebody's been accused of something enough times the powers that be will look into it right so the powers that be uh, in Puff Daddy's case is Homeland Security, FBI, uh, and also local whatever. So with him, let's let's go back, right? Let's take a look at P Puff Daddy's life as we know it now. So y'all know Puff Daddy as a uh, big mogul producer, lip gloss, sunglasses, a playboy. And all that, right? Yachts, Versace silk shirts blown in the wind. You know what I'm saying? Turn tech guy shopping and all that, right? Yeah, that's what y'all guys know him as, right? That's what most people know him as that have seen him on, you know, TV, news, whatever. Okay? Let's go back, though, right? So, let's go back. Uh, Puffy, he was an assistant for somebody, and he was worth... Not much money. Then he started Bad Boy like in like 90, it's either like 94, I think it was 1994, or 1993, something like that. He was worth like 46000 He wasn't, which was some bread at that time. Don't get me wrong. This is a long time ago. This is what, two, uh, 2014? This is 30 years ago, right? So at that time, that was some substantial bread, right? 40 something thousand was substantial bread. The next year, he's worth like something like seven million or some crazy number, right? So he starts booming. He starts bad boy. Biggie gets killed. He's looking for talent. He signs Shine. Okay. Now, the word is, and I can't independently verify this with you know what I'm saying 110% certainty, but I can tell you my opinion, right? The word is, is that. Puffy shot up this club in New York City back when he was with J-Lo and all that. And Shine supposedly took the blame for it. Uh, 
this is what the common thought was amongst people back then, right? Now, even though Puffy may be gay and all that stuff, he still has capabilities that are beyond just a civilian. You get what I'm saying? So do I doubt that he um, shot the club? No, I don't doubt it at all. You feel me? So anyway, Shine ended up going to prison for it for like 10 years, I believe it was, right? This would lead, further lead me to believe that is what happened. Shine went to prison for the shooting for, for like 10 years, right? He gets deported to Belize. He gets a million dollars for a record from L.A. Reid and never put the record out. And they never got the money back or even tried to get the money back. So, as we know about Puffy, Puffy's real smart, okay? He's not stupid. He knows what's up. He's, he's a very calculated guy. He's making everybody sign NDAs. You understand me? Uh, he's making everybody like... He, so, the, basically the word is, is that L.A. Reid gave him the bread. So, Puffy didn't have to give him the bread. It was a legit contract. He never put the, you know what I'm saying, the, the record out, and it was never recouped. If you're in Belize, and I'm a record producer, and or exec, or whatever you want to call it, um, you're in Belize, and I'm in America, I know the law is not the same. I send you a ticket, a million dollars, right? A million dollars. And this is back then. This is probably, I want to say, like... Uh, I want to say it was like early 2000s that he, that the whole thing happened. So this is probably like some years ago. I don't remember exactly what year, but he did a 10 piece, came home, went to believe. So you, why am I going to sign and do a record? I don't even know. Nah, it just doesn't add up. So anyway, point being his capabilities are very much so there for, um, for him to do sinister things. Okay. Now JLo leaves him, right? Because of this whole thing. And she went her way. I don't know what she was and what she was not involved in. Now, there's always been so much speculation that in Hollywood and stuff like that, uh, you know, they've basically they've been on some freaky stuff, right? They've been on some old freaky deaky, touch your, rub your sex rooms, um, just weird stuff. So you look at people like Jada Pinky, Will Smith. They got a lot of weird stuff going on. She's having SEX with the son's friend. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you look at a lot of the... There's a lot of weird stuff, man. A whole lot of weird stuff. Uh, all the way dating back to... I want to say it was a... Was it a Di, Diana Ross or something like that? Uh, I think it was Diana Ross, right? If I'm not mistaken. Was it Diana Ross? Yeah, I think it was Diana Ross. She was messing with Michael Jackson when he was, not to speak on the dead, but just this is, you know, when he was like 14, 15, something like that. He was at her house for weeks on end, whatever. So point being is there's been always a known element of freaky deaky stuff inside of Hollywood, right? So anyway, Biggie, not Biggie, excuse me, Puffy gets big. He gets to, uh, you know, he starts basically... Expanding his horizons and the powers that be probably I'm assuming probably say something like along the lines of like Probably say something along the lines of like hey, uh, this is what we do here. You feel me? We we do weird stuff here. You with that? You know what I'm saying? You're not with that whatever and then things probably domino from there, right? So anyway, he gets into Hollywood. You start hearing a couple little accusations here and there but one of the biggest ones one of the biggest things that I would feel that um, you know, came out against him, I would say, in the first place, would have been Kim, wasn't it Kim Porter? She's writing a book against him. She mysteriously dies, right? Now, people going to have a speculation. Who did what? Who done it? Blah, blah, blah. Nothing ends up happening. The book doesn't come out. So, there's a lot of people that allege that the book was supposed to describe a lot of the stuff that she did, okay? Uh, and in addition to that, um, supposedly he's supposed to, he's, they saying like he's a cuck, like he, they saying he's a cuck. They saying that he wants to see his wife get railed down by other people. Right. Uh, so for those who have watched any of the I'm 22 videos, a cuck, that's something, a term that you guys are probably familiar with. Right. Okay. And if you're not, it's cuck. Okay. Cuck. 
C-U-C-K, cuck, okay? So, now, um, the word is, is that that's what he is. He's a cuck. He wants to see his wife, you understand me, take that, uh, you know, ride the baloney, basically, and not his. You dig what I'm saying? So, um, anyway, that's the word, right? So, that's the, that's the, that's what everybody say, okay? Or, that's what she say, and that's what other people came to say as well. Now, I'm just going to point out some interesting facts. This is going to be like a probably 20-minute video, just to let you know. But I'm going to try to get it, state some known things and some facts as we go, right? So, anyway, or some things that are common knowledge and some facts along the way. So, um, yeah, so whatever, she gets killed. The book don't come out, obviously, and you don't hear nothing of it, right? Then... A sex, uh, 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 Cassie, Cassie, I think it was. There were some little issues with him and Cassie or whatever. Um, so for those that don't know, Cassie with his wife when, uh, back when he was trying to like work with Nipsey Hussle and all that during the victory lap, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, around this time, that was his wife and Cassie was trying to like be cool with Lauren London and all that, right? So anyway, there's supposed to have been some stuff going on with her. Now, Cassie. Let's fast forward just a little bit before we go back. Cassie filed a lawsuit, right? This is a civil lawsuit. This is not a criminal lawsuit. This is a civil lawsuit. So this is strictly for bredulence, dinero, right? Lucci, for money, for United States currency, for, for tender, legal tender. It's for money, right? It's not for jail, okay? She files a lawsuit, tries to get her little bread, right? Now, um... What academics said, which is a good point, right, was that you can probably assume that uh, 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 Cassie got into, involved into a damn, uh, what's it called, a, 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 a proffer agreement herself. Because what some people may say was, well, she was helping groom with Puffy, right? So they could say that. They could say that just alongside of, you know what I'm saying? They could say that she was guilty of that as well, right? Now, that's probably why she signed to a proper agreement. The lawyer of Cassie also said, hey, look, we will always assist in law enforcement, blah, blah, blah. Of course, he's going to say that. He's not going to be like, I will defend anybody. No, he's going to make it sound good. Basically letting you know, like, yeah, we're going to assist in law enforcement. So the FBI, Homeland Security, all that gets involved. But anyway, go back. Then there's another lawsuit from Rod. Um, I forget his name. Rod something saying that he either scraped or tried to scrape him or something like that. Then, right, let's not forget the clues either. Like, so just because it's not a, like, a solid piece of evidence, I'm going to take the whole situation as a conglomerate, right? I'm going to take the whole situation as one big thing, right? So I'm not going to just pull one thing and that's, no. So I just look, think all this, like, let's just add it all up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Dude, heavy lip gloss, calling men daddy. Uh, trying to take men shopping, um, known swinger, right? Uh, sex parties, uh, real close with people, the young, young, like borderline, like not cool. You feel me? Uh, messing with being up around people like Bieber, Justin Bieber, stuff like that. Right. Um, I just, it just has like, creepy and all that written all over it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like if it, let's just say it was a one thing out of all those, let's say he wore lip gloss. I don't know. Maybe he got chapped lips or something. Who knows? You feel me? I'm not going to just make a big one, big, huge conclusion off one detail. No, I'm going to put it all in the, I'm going to put it all in one. I'm going to take all these elements and put it all together, which is pretty much what the FBI Homeland security and the local enforcement did. That's pretty much what they did. So they're looking at it like, Okay, we have this allegation, we have this allegation, we have this allegation. This person disappeared after they were going to basically write a book. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of different things, right? Uh, in addition, right? Um, in addition. Game said something, the game, rapper of the game, Jason Taylor, right? <clears throat> he said something that let me, that let me to believe like that. Maybe Diddy wanted to try him, but knew, like, nah, this ain't him. He said that he hung around Diddy for two whole years, right? 
He said he hung around Diddy for two years and then hit the studio one time. He, even he said it on the drink champs. Hey, here go watch. Here go chain play, boy. Yeah, yeah, let's go on this trip. Let's go to Miami. Let's hop on the yacht. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Not one time went to the studio. Mind you, you up around homie because he's he's a musical genius. You get what I'm saying? He makes great music. You're not up around him because you don't even know him. You're just... So this let me know that you're trying to groom. Now, I feel like maybe this is just my, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I don't know. About my first guess would be maybe he would, maybe he thought to trouble, but like, nah, this guy might really just, because at the end of the day, he's smart. He's not going to just try anybody. He's going to try who he can get. He doesn't want somebody to leave saying like, oh, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to pipe me in the end. Nah, that's not, that's not it. He doesn't want that happening. You get what I'm saying? What he wants happening is, look, man, like, I'm going to groom you for such amount of time. And then after that, then hopefully it goes my way. If not, I'm not going to put myself so far out there that if it doesn't work, you can turn it on me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and as you can see, he probably made a mistake a little bit loosely later with Cassie and all that. But anyway, point being that, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's a dangerous game that he was playing, so he knows he can't just jump in. But that's just my opinion. We just know for a fact that he was up around game for two years, and game never put out no music. And then he, and then he told game, "Look, hey, you blowing with Dr. Dre? Probably looked like man, maybe he ain't with what I thought he was with." And that's where I'm, with, you know, what I'm saying. So anyway, fast forward all these lawsuits. There's all this stuff about uh, Rod, whatever his name, he getting bent over on some bed somewhere, getting his little joints ran, or getting sexually assaulted or something like that. Another thing. The Meek Mill thing. So, let's talk about Meek Mill. Now, I'm not saying that... Okay, let me say this. I'm not saying, right, that Meek Mill is G.I. Weezy, right? I'm not saying that. Because I don't have 110% not even not... I don't even have, like... I feel like, I feel like, so everybody knows when you get, when you get into Hollywood, like, for one, not everybody's going to make it into Hollywood. And then some of the people that make it into Hollywood, they don't necessarily go the direction that they're being pulled for moral reasons or whatever. And then that's when people say, you know what, well, maybe this is the same for you. You feel me? Because we're freaky over here. We like to have, you know what I'm saying, little illicit parties and we Jada Pink and Will Smith type stuff. You know what I'm saying? We on that. You know what I'm saying? We trying to do whatever we trying to do over here and y'all not with it. So, I know Meek Mill got famous out of, I ain't gonna say out of nowhere. He had a good grind. He has a good musical talent and he got his way up to fame. He never, even after going to prison, he never really fell off, right? And, in addition to that, right? I remember because I seen like a little documentary type of thing on it. Oh, I don't know if it's YouTube, whatever, but I seen a documentary thing on it where who picked him up? Mark Cute was it Mark Cuban? Not Mark Cuban. Uh, the one who they was talking about all the little uh, uh, all the little. Pe look, we'll Google it right now. I don't want to get no bad information. Who picked up Meek Mill from prison? To Michael Sanders, Rubin. That's to Michael Frank, Rubin, right? It's it's not Mark Cuban. It's Michael Rubin, right? He, okay, well, thank you. Yeah, Michael Room. So he picked him up in a helicopter. <clears throat> the same guy was at the, uh, at some party, uh, some all white party, and little baby, all, all these people that are famous. He's doing reels, just some, he's kind of doing some questionable poses with people, like, <laughs> hugging out, like, just a little, a little, a little fruity, right? Anyway, point being, is that he did get famous, and then I, I I remember that guy picked him up. I seen the whole documentary, and that's the same guy who was doing some questionable stuff. Then he's so close to Diddy. Now Diddy, let's just look like this. If it walks like a duck, it talks like a duck, and it looks like a duck. It's usually a duck, right? You hanging out with Diddy for all this time, right? All this time. This is a very substantial piece of time. You hanging out with Diddy for all this time, knowing that he's kind of like a little Fruit Loop, right? Uh, but you don't pay it no mind, and then you you feel me? So it's like I, I oh no no no, it's not too, oh no no no, no, no let's not even. 
he's in the pool. Yes, damn, he's in the pool with a shirt off. He's, yeah, you deserve it, daddy. Take it, you deserve it, daddy. For one, why are you calling another man daddy? The only person I would ever call daddy is my little son that's a kid, a child. I would not, I'll say, hey, little daddy. I would never call another man with hair on his testicles daddy. Uh, that's, no, that's a grown man. That's not your dad. You're just being weird. You get what I'm saying? I remember there was a video where Suge Knight was called daddy from a, um, some New York dude. He was like a, uh, he was like a, um, what was it called? Uh. Uh, 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 TMZ guy or something. He's like, hey, daddy, hey, daddy. He's like, stop. Why you keep calling me daddy, man? Stop calling me daddy. That's some weird. I don't want to call no another man daddy. And then uh, he basically he had said it. He go, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I'm from New York. This is how we talk. Okay, well, I'm not your daddy. Don't call me daddy. You get what I'm saying? So, anyway, point being is that it's just not acceptable, right? But he's calling me male daddy. Then the matching outfits. Then it just is like a lot of different things, right? So, I don't know what. And what not Meek Mill has done with him, but it's looking kind of weird. Uh, furthermore, right? Furthermore, uh, 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 Cat Williams, this is just, this is just, maybe, who knows, maybe it's just coincidence. Cat Williams was just on, um, was it little dude? Everybody be calling him. I'm not saying he's gay. I'm just saying a lot of people call him a little zesty. Uh, Shannon Sharp, uh, uh, they call him Shay Shay, right? Which I ain't gonna lie, the name's a little. But anyway, uh, uh, Cat Williams was on Shay Shay, Club Shay Shay, talking about, uh, hey, listen, 2024, they all getting exposed, man. They getting exposed. That's it. He, and he's named Diddy by name, right? Sean Combs. He named him by name. I don't know if he said Sean Combs, but he said Diddy or whatever. He didn't just say in general. No. He said Diddy, all these people, they getting exposed in 2024. So I don't know. Maybe he has some insight that we didn't have. I don't know. Right? Anyway. Fast forward, all this stuff happens. Bam. Right? Bam. They raid this little joint, right? They found some guy, this white dude with some little messed up hair. They found some guns or something. Or, I mean, not guns, or drugs and something else, right? He's taking his drugs on his boats or whatever, yachts. They raided a, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they raided a yacht or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, and then he got caught supposedly leaving the country. So, obviously, he must have had some sort of, just like anything else, man, money talks, BS walks, right? So, he may he may have had some type of inside source. Let's check it out, man. They're about to come through. So, if I was you, I would skedaddle. You know what I'm saying? Can't grab him and travel. So, anyway, he got whatever trying to They didn't even arrest him. at the, They just raided his house. So, what are they looking for? Supposedly, there's a room in there. There's a camera in every room in his residente, Right? Or in all his little residentes. So he used to show, uh, was it Cassie or one of them? The pictures, he used to show videos of her getting railed down by other dudes and make her watch it with him. So obviously he's had some strange, like, he's a little strange, man. There's no, you can only make so many allegations, right? Like, like I said before, one allegation, two allegations, you're famous. You, People are your target already, right? So look, Mike Tyson. Nah, he ain't rape no. He ain't rape that hoe. You feel me? He going to the room with the champ at four in the morning, all drunk. What do you think's gonna happen? So we already know that's not true. Now on the other hand, Ben Roethlisberger. You feel me? Been in about six, seven rape charges at one. You know what I'm saying? Now we talking about okay. Well, what's what is what's to this? What's to it? Like, let's talk about it. So anyway, point being, it's a lot of accusations. They ain't raiding all his stuff. Homeland Security. It wasn't just. This lets you know it's very serious. It wasn't just um, the police, the local police. Yeah, I remember this dude's in national. He's in the international. What he's going to Bali and all the kind of crazy. He's going to all kind of. He's being. He's going everywhere. He's traveling. He's you know. And uh, let's not forget also. He was accused of giving Zip the money to kill Tupac. He was accused of giving Zip a million dollars to kill Tupac, right? He was accused of this, right? He was accused of giving Zip a million dollars. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Zip is dead. But he didn't want to give Zip, or he didn't want to give Keefe D and them the money directly. Because if he give Keefe D and them the money directly, now it's pointed that way. You get what I'm saying? Puffy will never do something except maybe except for shooting up that club. I don't know what happened. But Puffy will never, ever, 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 ever 
do something himself unless there's all kind of paperwork involved. And NDAs, this, that, and the third. So they raid. He doesn't even go to Gisnail yet. One of the most interesting things that happened after that. Don't you know who? He disappeared. Jay-Z disappeared. Now, if you're talking about the super rich, let me explain something. There's different types of rich people, okay? You have the rich people that are already... What's the word I'm looking for? Privileged. You have the rich people, the rich community, community that's already privileged, right? They already have a, a step ahead in the game. They're, they, they come from affluency or whatever. So you have your Bill Gates. You have your... Um, what else? Who else you got? Well, I don't know necessarily how, what Warren Buffett's thing is, but you got your Jeff Bezos. You got all these people that were didn't come from crime, poverty, um, drugs, prostitution, pimping, uh, a, a gang, all this stuff. This a negative, uh, lower socioeconomic. Uh, neighborhoods and stuff like that. No, they're from... Not saying he was rich, but he already had a hand up. He already had a step ahead. He had a hand up. You know what I'm saying? Then you have other people. Let's talk about Jay-Z. Jay-Z from the gutter. Let's not forget. He's been rich a long time. Yes. Let's not forget. He's from Mar even the projects in Brooklyn, New York. You get what I'm saying? He he's sold drugs. He's, if I'm not mistaken, he shot his brother. Uh, he 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 was that guy back in the day. He was a, he was a joint back in the day. Right? Uh, he's just older now, and so he got he starts you know saying scoring millions, and then he, next thing you know, he's just, he, he was selected. I'm assuming you don't you know America's not gonna allow that many. Let's just be honest. America's a racist country. They want to suppress the black community, and whoever does not get suppressed, they want them to flourish at the direction of them exclusively, right? They don't want all the black community to be rich and, you know, that's not what they want. They're, you don't forget, this is the same system that enslaved people and did all this. And, and, and Jim Crow laws and uh, uh, crack house minimum, all that, right? So this is the same system that did all that, right? So they don't want you to boom unless you're the one they want to boom and they can puppeteer you, right? So bam, Jay-Z gets famous, whatever. You don't really hear from much. He kind of like almost a little reclusive, right? Mary's Beyonce, power move. You know what I'm saying? Me billions of dollars put together. Or maybe two billion or whatever put together. Uh, point being is it bossed up basically, right? So Jay-Z disappears when the puff raid happens. He's And it's 50 cents clowning. they on the milk carton. Jay-Z on the milk carton missing with his little doo-doo drop, doo-doo lock. They're hella thick and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of stuff. That comes into play. A lot of pieces are on the board here. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, what's going to happen to Puffy? If I'm being real, I'm pretty sure. Because we're not talking about... We're not talking about a quick wham, bam. No. What we're talking about is we're talking about a very substantial time period where... Substantial amounts of evidence were compiled against Sean Combs, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. P. Diddy, a.k.a. Lip Gloss, Bandit, whatever, right? This is a very substantial amount of time, right? So, would I be surprised if they tried to tie in some little Tupac murder stuff about this? No, I sure wouldn't, to be honest with you. I would not be surprised. I, I, would, I would actually be surprised if it didn't get brought up, right? Because Cassie... Nah, nah, I can't, nah, maybe I, I, I think he's smarter than to let Cassie know, right? But, point being, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out of this. Do I think he's going to get blamed in some way, some shape, or some form? I do. I do, right? I believe that he's going to get blamed in some way, some shape, some form, something's going to happen, right? There's civil lawsuits, all the information from the civil lawsuits were taken to criminal suit, or criminal charges, um, federal charges. You see what happened to R. Kelly? They did all these little stuff, and, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the same. Uh, according to what I think academics, one of them said, it was the same prosecutor that's in charge of the R. Kelly situation. So if that's the case, oh yeah, Puffy, you better, 
pack your lip gloss because you're going to be gone a while. You feel me? I don't think you're just going to skate something will happen. And I get it. Lawyers, this, that, and the third. And then everything goes off evidence, but something's going to happen. Something will happen, right? What did I say? For those people that watch my YouTube videos, right? My few and far between supporters. I only got my 800 some, whatever. But uh, for those people that watch my videos, what did I say with, with the whole little raid and all that, with Tupac and all that stuff, right? I said, I don't know what's going to happen, but something's going to happen. Somebody's going to drop. What happens? Keith D's dumbass with his old dumbass is over there. Now he's some Clark County Jail, Las Vegas, looking like a dumbass. You feel me? He up and he over there in a damn, uh, the, whatever the jail right there by Fremont in Las Vegas, Nevada, right? So point being, something will happen. They're not going to do all that and get nothing. Your fame will not get you that far. So whatever you did, which I really doubt you're going to get charged with all of it because you've done a lot. But whatever you did, it could be it could be used against you at this point, especially when it's some questionable stuff. You even got people like Luke, um, what's his name, uh, Uncle Luke, uh, 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 forget his public, was that public enemy? Well, let's see if it was public enemy. I think it was, uh, who is Uncle Luke? Oh, he's old. Luther Roderick Campbell, also known as Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Uncle Luke and Simply Luke is an American rapper, promoter, record Two Live Crew, my bad. And former yeah. leader of the rap group Two Live Crew. Yeah, so Two Live Crew, right? He's older now. He's like 63 years old. Uncle Luke was even going through some paperwork. Luke, probably the other day making videos, looking for NDAs and all that stuff. Making sure, look, because he was known for it to be the little sex party guy. He was known to have it popping. So point being, have it in order, man. Puffy. I don't think, my personal opinion, I don't think you're going to wiggle out of this one. I really don't. I'm pretty sure that you're not. I'm pretty sure that something is going to happen. I don't think that all this is going to be, um, I don't think that all these accusations, whatever you may call, I don't think that they're all going to just come and nothing happens. So anyway, we'll just have to stay tuned. We'll just have to be stay tuned and see. Um. And man, let me know what you think is gonna happen. Do you think he's? Do you think they're about to shaft his ass? You think he's done? You think he got a chance? You think he's shot? You think it's over? Let me know what you think in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys watching my video. Like I said before, for those who have not already, please hit that subscribe and that like button. I appreciate y'all watching. Salute. Have a great afternoon, and I'm gone.